Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on simple interest. Before you watch this video, you should make sure you've watched a compound interest maths cast because we're going to be developing the skills we learnt there. Right, let's begin. Here's our question. James invests £4,000 in a bank at 5% simple interest for three years. How much will he have at the end? So this question is a simple interest question. Now there used to be in exams always compound interest, but in the last few years I've seen a few more of these simple interest questions, so we've made a video on it now to help you out. There's two ways to answer the question, depending on if you have a calculator or not. This is method number one, which uses a calculator. So if this is in the calculator exam, you can use this method if you want. So the question, a bit like compound interest, we're looking for how many years it is. And you can see it's a three-year question. So we're going to set it up with our one-year, two-year, three-year setup. So this is how we're setting it up. One year, two year, three year. And then we read the question. Well, we've got £4,000 in the bank and the interest is 5% per year. So it's going up by 5% per year. So we start with 100% and we add on 5%. This will give us 105%. We then change this into a decimal. Well, as a decimal, this is 1.05. Because remember, to change it, we divide by 100. So 1.05 is the number we can times by. So in the first year, we start with 4,000, and we times by 1.05. Type this into a calculator, and we get the answer of 4,200. So that's how much money we have at the end of the first year. So now it's where we're going to do something a little bit different to compound interest. Now we look, how much has it gone up in that year? Well, you can see if we started with 4,000 and we go up to 4,200, then we see that we've gone up 200 pounds. So simple interest is very easy because all it means is it means that every year we go up by the same. So we're going to go up by 200 pounds every year. So in the second year, we start with 4,200 and we add on 200 pounds. So at the end of the second year, we have 4,400. And in the third year, well, we've got our 4,200 and we add on 200 pounds again because it's always going up by 200 pounds. And then that leaves us with 4,600 pounds. So that is how much money we would have at the end of the third year. So as you can see, this is quite an easy question. You just have to work out how much it goes up in the first year, and then that's how much it will go up every year afterwards. So it's easier than compound interest. You've just got to remember what to do. Right, let's have a look at another question, this time without a calculator. So let's read the question. Michelle invests £600 in a bank at 3% simple interest for four years. How much will she have at the end? So, this is method number two. Method two, non-calculator. So this could be in both papers. Right, so question, we want to know how many years. So to start with, it's a four-year question. So let's set it up one year, two year, three year, and four year. Right, then... Because we haven't got a calculator, we basically, we have £600 in the bank and it's going up by 3%. So we need to work out what 3% of £600 is. Well, we've done this sort of question before in a previous video. To work out 3% of 600 all we do is we start by finding 10%. So we always start with 10%. Well, to find 10%, we take our 600 divide it by 10, and you've got 60. Then you find 1% by dividing by 10 again. So 60 divided by 10 is 6. That's quite useful now because 3%, which is what I want, 
is going to be 3 of these 1%, which will be 6, 12, 18. So 3% is £18. So this is fantastic because we know that every year the money will go up by £18. So the first year will be 600 add 18, which is 618. The second year, 618 to start with, and we're going to add on our 18. That will give us 636. Because remember, every year it's going up by £18. So the third year, 636, add 18 again. Well, that gives us 654. And the final year, the fourth year, 654, add on another 18, and that will give us 672 pounds, which is our answer, 672 pounds. So after four years at 3% simple interest, Michelle will have 672 pounds. So this is how to do the question if you haven't got a calculator. You have to do the 10%, 1% thing to get you started. Right, so remember, we need to make sure we don't do this unless it says simple interest, because usually the question is compound interest. So please make sure you've watched a compound interest video and done those questions as well. Here are some practice questions for you to have a go at. Good luck and ask your teacher if you need help.